Well, I've been looking into the phenomena of fan clubs, in particular one fan club, the Crossroads and Noel Gordon Appreciation Society. I went along to meet some of them when they met up at a theatre in Tewkesbury, and very interesting it was too. For 23 years, this was the tune that up to 18 million people rushed home to hear each evening. But on the 4th of April 1988, the Crossroads Motel closed its doors for the very last time. And a nation went into mourning. But fear not, because for one small group of devoted fans, Crossroads lives on. Crossroads and Noel Gordon Appreciation Society's 25th anniversary this year and they were gathered together to celebrate the Soap Silver Jubilee. Lots of people thought it was real, yes. very, very real. Uh, I think so yes. too and when it was a wedding you all got yes. excited, didn't you? And you thought it really yeah. was a wedding. And then when somebody died and you saw the flowers, you could send flowers, you felt sad about it, you know. I think it uh, was part of life. And it's like everyday life to you. you I think know? it become rather, rather, rather difficult to realise that Benny was such a, an intelligent bloke off screen when he was such a <laughs> nutter on it. And what do you think of the people that criticise Crossroads? Because it's coming for so much criticism oh, over the years. Well, I think that there's something wrong with them. That's the only thing you can say, isn't it? Well, my, my view of critics generally is that they're abnormal people. <laughs> Today, are most of the people that are invited to this little get-together. It's very good to see uh, lots of faces that, uh, I won't say old faces, uh, lots of faces that we recognise from way back in the early days of Crossroads. Um, it shows the esteem which this particular show was held in by the amount of miles that people have travelled today. I've heard that some people have travelled from Scotland, some from the north of England, some from west, some from east, and I think there's even someone from Evesham. Sends out regular newsletters containing updated Crossroads episodes written by the fans themselves. The newsletter goes out once a month. There's 20 pages full of news of what the stars are doing. Plus, the, there's an, a self-contained episode in each newsletter, about 10 pages of just of story on its own. This is right up. This is picture forty. Picture, sit down, Diane. Now, tell me all your problems. What is it? Yes. Darling, I don't have all day. The show only lasts 20 minutes. Five nights a week, it's really hard work. Yes. Vince is divorcing. Vince is divorcing you, yes. I'm pregnant with... Pregnant with a baby? Oh, well, there's not much else to do in King's Oak these days. I'm an alcoholic. And you've just eaten garlic, like I don't like to say. What, dear? Oh, you're an alcoholic. What's the appeal for you at Crossroads? I think probably the fact that Crossroads was always there. Whatever else vanished and disappeared and went wrong, you could guarantee on having Crossroads. And what was your favourite character in Crossroads? My favourite character was always Diane. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. And when I was younger, I did try very hard to look like her, but not anymore. Almost everyone we spoke to had a favourite scene or character they could recall for us as quick as a flick with one of Amy Turtle's dusters. Who's your favourite character in Crossroads? Um, well, obviously Meg, but apart from her, I think Jill, that's the Jill. She was there from the first and she stayed there right up to the bitter end. Why Jill, particularly? I don't know, I think I identify with her as a sister because I never had a sister and I, I just worried about it. <laughs> Some of the 
Outcast, who are still alive and well to this day, accepted the fan club's invite to come along to the celebrations. Peggy, have you been to many Crossroads conventions over the years? No, this is the very first one that I've ever been invited to. And what have you thought of it today? I thought it was absolutely tremendous. I really enjoyed myself. Are you surprised by the warmth of the people and their enthusiasm here today? Well, not altogether, because we used to get that when I was in the show. You know, people were wonderful, the way that they come running up to you in shops and all over the place. I had a dustman get out for a dust cart once to say how much he enjoyed me in the crossroads, you know. I'm sorry to trouble you, but... This is Baltimore, but uh, you see, the thing is, I haven't got my glasses. Have you got a minute? Yes, yes, I've got a minute. I've spent all day in my wonderful city with my lamb and my Chevy. Uh, what's that? Well, uh, thank you very much. I don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, we'll go and help Sam. Cheers. <coughs> what's this? Well, I brought this uh, new picture you ordered to remind you, uh, you know, uh, about that old one. You know. I might say I'm only here because my dear friend Charles Stapley, who's also here, who was in the series in the 70s, he lives near us, and he said, come on, have a day out, come with me. So I said, all right, I'll go if you go. So the two of us drove up together, and we didn't know what to expect. But I think it's been hilarious and very interesting and very unusual and the people have been adorable. I wanted to giggle a lot. Oh, uh, well, well, that's not. Well, you, uh, I think I'll read you some tea to the bottom, dear. You come on and send it. You're very busy. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go, dear. Don't you find that the people here have taken it incredibly seriously? Absolutely. I mean, I, when I say giggle, I giggle, um, you know, not nastily. But yes, that is always what one had been in a soap. And that is the responsibility, in a way. Because whatever storyline you had, and in my case, there were some very serious ones, people believed it. It's a dream of it, isn't it? Cosmetic sponge thing, isn't that lovely? Cosmetic bag. Well, that's what I've been saying. It's lovely. Thank you. Ah, I wonder if anyone will buy me presents one day. It's the vocal tremor in the water. We must get it. Thanks a lot. And of course, this is an amazing thing. This is the actual original Crossroads Motel sign, uh, which stood outside the original motel.